Hello everyone, my name is Don Smith and welcome to a preview of a much anticipated software from the fine folks at On One. And this is On One Photo Raw 2017. And this is gonna become available on December 19th. I've been able to get a copy, a beta copy. I'm actually on my second beta copy. And this isn't meant to be an in-depth uh, by any means. You can go to the On One page. They have many um, videos that will walk you through every feature of this incredible piece of software. But I'm just going to show you an overview, give you some of my thoughts. Again, this is a beta copy, so not everything is activated and working. We may have a few glitches along the way. I'm still just getting comfortable with this software. Um, but I thought I'd like to just kind of go over it and give you a quick overview of the software, sort of whet your appetite for it. Um, you know, it's we're living in a great time because digitally, Adobe, let's face it, um, still kind of rules the roost, if you would. But we have companies like On One. Um, I showed you a video a couple of weeks ago on Luminar, and these companies are pushing the envelope. So you're really not locked into having to go with Adobe if you don't want to. And I still do all of my work through Lightroom, but the more I'm getting used to this um, raw processor, the more I'm starting to you know, really, really see the benefits of it. Now, right off the get-go, here is one reason I really like this raw processor. In my workshops, I get so many people that come in and they say, Don, I've just converted over to Lightroom. This whole catalog thing throws me. I, if I make a move outside of Lightroom, Lightroom doesn't like it. It loses my images. It breaks the link, et cetera, et cetera. You guys are all familiar with that. If you look over here on the left-hand side, there are no catalogs in On One. This is my setup. This is how I go and find things. Let's, let's look over here on the computer. That's what I'm on right now. That's just showing me something from my desktop. But uh, I work on a Mac, and my current images that are on my Mac computer are in my pictures uh, folder. I'm going to open, or excuse me, open that. You can see here's all my 2000 RAWs that I've shot. Everything so far in 2016, which is closely drawing to a close here. But you have ever other options. You can import from your camera. Uh, I have uh, hard drives. I've, I've got this one turned on backup drives. I don't have them all on. But uh, you can see that it's, it's capturing everything that's in my, uh, we're now in my backup drive. Here's all my pictures that I've sent off to Getty this year that have been processed. But what I'd like to do is let's get back over here into my computer, okay? And we're coming in here to the RAWs. And I'm just, uh, let's scroll through here. We'll just pick something Grand Tetons here. Let's just open up this. This is a pretty, pretty big file. And what I want you to see, I have over 400 images in here. Look at how quick that opened up. Everything is really fast. Now, it's no secret if you've taken one of my workshops, you see me working first edits through a product called Photo Mechanic. Well, I've got to tell you, this is just about as fast as Photo Mechanic. And you might be asking yourself, well, why are you using Photo Mechanic? Well, it's because of the speed factor. Lightroom, to me, was just slow on the ingest. And then when I wanted to blow up images, let's, let's just pick an image here and I'm gonna double click. As I move along, you can see I am getting instant images um, or full previews rather. It's not waiting, you know, in Lightroom, we have to wait for them to draw and we have to wait for them to come in. And, and I'm sort of an in, impatient person and I, I shoot a lot. Uh, when I do my sports, I shoot quite a lot. So I want these, I, I've gotten used to having these thumbnails um, come in very quickly. And I'm going to tap the G key to just get right back into the grid mode. So the cool thing is this does work in conjunction with Lightroom. Um, I'm going to right click on this photo. And you can see up here, we can color code it. Uh, we can apply our star ratings. 
um, you know, like or dislike. I know most photographers use star ratings. Believe it or not, I use color. I'll go through on a first edit and I will actually, um, you know, just put in a, a T to tag it or not tag. Then I'll, I'll delete. I'll delete a lot of photos right off the bat. I, I'm not a photographer that saves everything. I came up being trained as a journalist and uh, doing tight edits. So I, I go off a gut reaction. But there's so many ways you can do that. You can do it by color. You can do it by star rating. You know, everybody has their own system. Uh, I'm not going to get into uh, to looking at all of that. So you can see, if I, as I scroll down, these are all my folders of various places I've shot. You know, we were over in Maui on one of Gary Hart's workshops that I taught. Look at how quick again. These are full time. These are full size Sony A7R RAWs. These are 42 megapixel raw images, and look how quickly they load. I mean, it's just incredible. Um, Let's come over to another one over here, um, Eastern Sierra. Again, again, look, let's look at how fast they load. Okay, I want to go to another one, Yosemite Supermoon. This was a fun workshop. Um, I helped Gary with this last month, and it was timed around the Supermoon. And we had just a great time um, finding images of the moon every evening to shoot. And uh, let's, let's kind of take a look. These are all just raw files. I want to kind of scroll down here. Let's get one of these of a, of a big moon down here. Maybe one of these guys. Uh, this was a moonrise next to Cathedral Rocks. If you're familiar from Tunnel View, looking out over the Yosemite Valley. Okay, and let's just, you can see as I scroll each end, or as I tap my right bracket key, excuse me, not as I scroll, I'm tapping my right bracket key. Um, you know, we're, we're just getting full previews that are just basically ready to go, ready to edit. And I'm going to get back into my grid mode. There's one in particular that I'm looking for here. Um, this guy kind of caught my eye. So we're going to, we're going to blow him up. Now, the neat thing, look over here to the right. We're still in the browser module. Again, you can set up your folders whichever way you like. Cataloging's a thing of the past. You can work outside of On One, move photos around. It'll still reflect it inside of On One because it's not a cataloging system. It's simply a browser, and there is that distinction. So let's say you don't really have a raw processor. You never really got into using Lightroom, or you do use Lightroom and you really don't like it. You'd like to kind of break away from the Adobe uh, software. Well, now you can come into the develop module and you pretty much have in here what we have in Lightroom as far as all of our sliders to manipulate our midtones and our highlights and our blacks, etc. Even, even has a dehaze mode, uh, all our color settings. Look over here to the left. We even have some presets over in here. I'm going to go over here to Landscape Pop. If you're not familiar with setting um, images, let's let's go over here to another one, a Magical Sunset. You know, you can just play around with some of the presets in here uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself. Now, on the version I have here, because it's a beta version, the histogram is disabled right now. And if you followed any of my videos in the past, or if you've taken a workshop, you know how uh, much of a freak I am about the histogram. It tells us everything you need to know. So without it hooked up, I really don't want to go through and make a lot of changes on this image. I'm kind of eyeballing it, which to me is not the best way of doing things. I want to be able to set an absolute white you know, and I don't know if I'm blowing any white in that moon without the histogram. But believe me, when the final version comes out, that histogram is going to be there for you. And you'll be able to check your blacks and whites. No problem. So again, if you don't have a raw processor, hey, everything you need is right in here. You even have some local adjustments that you can come over and work with. So a lot of what Lightroom has, you have it right here. They have a lot of the lens profiles in there, probably more at this point than I've seen in Lightroom, believe it or not. And they had one, uh, the RX10 Mark III, 
uh, a Sony camera that I own. They have the profile in there that I have yet to see in Lightroom, although Lightroom did release some new profiles just recently. Okay, so uh, let's go into the next thing here. This is, the, this is the cool part I like on the right-hand side. I don't have to close out a one module, open up another. Now I go into where I do 90% of my work, which is in effects, okay? Uh, I, I've done previous videos on effects, so you can check it out. Uh, you, you still have your presets in here, and you still have various filters. I can add all my filters over in here, or I can just simply come down this column, add them over in here. Uh, so everything is in there for you that you're going to need to um, work with. I haven't worked with layers a lot, but if I did want to do some masking and layers, you can see it is going to load into the layers module. I will do a separate video one day on the layers module uh, because I think that one really, to do it justice, I would have to run some images through there to show you how I would use that layers module. But again, right now, I'm just trying to show you that you can move along pictures into any one of the on on one modules that you would like and now we're in layers i could go ahead and add a layer here let's just do this so uh, you'll know what i'm talking about uh, if i wanted to come over here and change off the blend modes let's say you know so sometimes soft light hard light nothing's really working that well for this picture but that would be one of the things i could do i could also also mask over here in this but again I, I will do a full um, tutorial on layers and that will be down the road so let's go ahead I'm gonna delete this out of here one let's come back into the effects module see how quick all of this happens it's really kind of cool uh, I really like this last one I want to show you if you do need to resize an image let's go like let's go here and this may be one I'm gonna get a glitch on yeah okay for some reason it's saying it's selecting a folder but i could i could just uh go right into resize um and i want to come back up here into my info there we go and from there i could size my photo to any any output i would like and you know save the original version where i'm just outputting various sizes maybe something for the web or i may want to put something out where i actually want to make a print or go up to my, uh, you know, just put something small to go out on Facebook, etc. Things of that sort. So that's kind of an overview. I have had some of you write me and say, well, can you compare and contrast with Luminar? And I really don't want to go down that path. I have done a video on Luminar. I will be doing more of these videos on, on one. And um, we'll, we'll actually go in and look in depth more on each one of the modules. But I'm seeing this as a complete editing solution for anybody out there uh, who really, really wants to have a powerful, raw editing piece of software with all your options, all integrated. Again, we're right here. We can click any, in and out of any one of these modules without having to open and close and reopen as in the past. So pretty excited about what's coming down the pipe. Um, I will look forward to getting the completed version. I will be uh, running more videos and tutorials as we go along in time, but uh, check it out. So if you go to my website, www.donsmithphotography.com, on the home page, click on the affiliates and discounts, and then click on on one. Um, it will take you right to their site, and you can pre-order this. And when December nineteenth rolls around, uh, you can have your version. And it's pretty exciting software. So, until next time, this is Don Smith. Get out, get shooting, have fun, and hope this software. I know it, it's going to help your processing. And that's all part of, of what we do nowadays, gang. We're, we're no longer sending things off to a lab. We are the lab. So as I tell people in my workshop, you know, the better you can become at processing, the better overall photographer you're going to become because you can, you can visualize the end results of your picture in your mind's eye. Uh, this is what Ansel Adams taught for years. 
and pre-visualization is key. And you will have with a software like On One Photo Raw the ability to bring out the image the way you envisioned it. So till next time, take care.